welcome to my channel if you like my videos then kindly subscribe like and watch thank you problem 4.1 the statement of problem is that knowing that couple shown act in a vertical plane determine stress at point a and point b so this is the member that is shown and the moment given over here is 25 kips so it will tend to bend the member like this so the up this concave portion will be in compression while this convex portion will be in under the tension so we have to find the stress at point a and point b so given data is already written that is 25 kips into inch clear we have to find the stress at point a and point b so sigma a and sigma b have to be found at these two points is solution as we note that the uh, bending stress formula for uh, uh, bending stress formula for a given moment is uh, written as my divided by I, by i where i is the moment y is the distance from neutral axis to the point where we have to find the stress just like this point a and point b and i is the moment of inertia so if you look this figure this is exactly like this shape so from this to this total distance that is given as 2 plus 1.5 plus 2 which is equal to 5.5 so this distance is 5.5 inch let me write it clearly so this total distance is 5.5 inch clear so let me show over here this total distance is 5.5 inch so if you draw a center line center line at the mid section of this 5.5 so you will get a neutral axis because the body is symmetrical around this axis so this distance will be 5.5 divided by 2 which is 2.75 inch clear now uh, we first we have to we have this well m value we do we also have y a will y value which is distance of this point from this neutral axis and distance of this point b from this neutral axis we will calculate it when we will find this stress we do not know at this stage the value of moment of inertia i is the moment of inertia so for finding the moment of inertia we will divide this figure into three rectangular body first this rectangular body second this and the third one is this so the total moment of inertia will be equal to sum of first member rectangular second and third and we know that moment of uh, the value of i for a rectangular cross section is 1 over 12 into b h q where b is the width and h is the height so let's start for the first member 1 this is the first member 1 from this portion to this portion so 2 is its uh, breadth and height is 1.5 so which is equal to i 1 is equal to 1 over 12 into 2 into 1.5 q now for i2 i2 is this one so total height is 5.5 which is this and total breadth is 2 inch so this is 1 over 12 into 2 into 5.5 whole q and plus i3 i1 and i3 are same so this is exactly 1 over 12 into 2 into 1.5 whole cube so when you calculate it you will get the moment of inertia of this whole member which is given over here which is 28.85 inch 4 we have find the value of i now we will move toward our first part which is which we have to find the stress at point a and which is given as formula sigma a is equal to minus m y a divided by i now let's talk about the distance of y a so as we have seen that uh, this was the point a so this is the point a and this is the neutral axis and neutral axis the y is at a distance of 2.75 meter from this neutral axis clear so this is y a and this is equal to 2.75 inch so you have to take the value of y a as 
0.75 okay uh, the value of uh, movement is given as 25 kips into inch and y is 2.75 inch and i is the same value like we have put over here clear and when you cal calculate it you will get the stress at point a now moving toward second part which is stress at point B and this is exactly same as sigma B is equal to minus M into YB divided by I. What is YB? YB is distance of point B from centroidal axis. Now this is the point B and this is centroidal axis. So it is at half of this distance 1.75 which is I will write it this is yb and this is equal to 1.5 divided by 2 which is 0 0.75 inch. So you will have to put the value of m you have yb which is 0 0.75 inch and you have i the value of i which is 28.85. So when you calculate it you will find the stress at point b which is minus 0 0.60 ksi. So now from both the values we can see that this is negative so point A will be in compression also the stress at point B is negative so it will be the point B will also in the compression under the given of given state of stress. So this was all about so you can see that this point A and point B lies on in here and here clear so these points are in under state of compression because we have all i have already told you that the during this type of movement the upper portion will be in compression while the lower portion will be in tension so these po two points lies above the neutral axis so these two points will be in under compression thank you for your time if you have any question you can ask in comment section